our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Nick D. Now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC lightweight champion, the former UFC featherweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, the You ready? Go. All right, let's see if BJ Penn can get on track here in the early going as we begin round one. Who could forget his 21-second knockout of Matt Hughes at UFC 123? Blackjack that night. The question is, though, BJ Penn, latter stages of his career, can he get off to a good start tonight? Missed with that attempt. there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, all right, nice job early on by the BJJ fighter to engage the boxer here in the clinch. And if you're the boxer, maybe don't get too confident in the hands here, or you're going to end up on your back. Absolutely, because there's risk versus reward. Is it worth throwing that uppercut hook in tight knowing that the moment you break that clinch is going to level change and get to your head? It's a game of chess right now as we watch these two fight from this clinch position. Oh, nice jab by Diaz. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. So more output, at least in the early going. Big elbow there, Lance. So nice. Early striking action here, and good shot selection by the boxer, landing that uppercut right through on the BJJ fight. That's one of his best strikes. He does a great job of hiding it, and the moment he sees an opportunity, bam, right up the middle, lands that beautiful uppercut. Oh, nice hook there by Diaz. The prodigy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, nice body shot. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's throwing. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Midway through round one. Connected with a solid punch right there. Oh, good block there. And gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Penn's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Under two minutes to go. The crowd continues to sway with every huge shot being landed. Back and forth we go. A big combination. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Penn's eye now closing up. Trying to establish that jab once again. This could be it. He's hurting bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, nice kick. Well, you gotta like the way he has started this fight tonight. He has 
BJ Penn in a world of trouble here. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to do much with this cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, Diaz's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. 20 seconds left. Oh, man, his leg kick. Oh, oh he is hurting for certain. So there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round on the way. Continuing to look for openings here with Penn on the canvas. And he will let his opponent stand up here. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Great block there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Whiffs on the elbow. Changes the angle. Finds the right spot. Oh, my Tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. Back to his feet. Oh, that's big. These dudes are going crazy. Point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is. You cannot sit in this position. Referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, just a merciless approach here on the ground, continuing to target that cut. Full side control now. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one, DC. Well, you don't want to be stuck on your feet with a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four rounds gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. The doctor may have to take a look at this. He's getting hit on that swollen area over and over again, and it seems critical now. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous, 
they're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, so how about this? The BJJ fighter just continues to land at will on the feet, not necessarily the way you drew it up to No, I, you know, My watch God. these two fight in preparation. You don't expect to see this playing out in front of you. The jiu-jitsu fighter normally is chasing takedowns, but he must have seen something in his opponent that is allowing him to get this type of success on the feet. He looks like he is evolving as a fighter, and that is, oh my goodness! Oh my God! That has got to feel good! What a fight! What a fight! All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nick Diaz. Well, he certainly hasn't been the most active fighter on the roster, but when he does compete, Nick Diaz still gets the job done, so congratulations to Diaz, to the Caesar Gracie fight team, the Scrap Pack, and everybody else. Another signature win for Nick Diaz here tonight, and this 209 tattoo looking pretty good right now.